Alright guys, so if you're as crazy as I am, you've got your records all situated and organized. This is the information that came with my RV. And I have all of my different uh, information in here from the original owner, which was something that I discovered. If you've watched my channel, you know I discovered this after I bought the RV. The dealership said they had nothing. And then I discovered this. And it was wonderful. So I have a nice, organized portfolio of all the records. However, since I've been, since I've owned the RV, I've got all kinds of different things that uh, I do to keep track of my RV maintenance record. So let's talk a little bit about that here um, in just a moment. But let me first show you my notebook. Let me get my notebook out here. I have a cheap standard 79 cent notebook. And basically I have a chronological running of everything that has gone on with the RV since the day I bought it. I bought the RV October 14th, 2015. And I talked about the PDI, I talked about all the different mechanicals. The information that I learned from the dealer, uh, all that information has been written here. And then uh, what I have is I have a date, chronological date order of everything that I've done with the RV since I've owned it. Okay, even if it's just insignificant. Um, I still wrote it down, I wrote it down along with the mileage, Ooh. there you can see, 415, the mileage was 36021, purchased, I talk about how many clock hours are on the generator, and then as you scroll out here, you can see all the different things that I've done to the RV. Now today my goal is to update this information because the last time I did anything in my journal was back on 1222 and that was when I brought the RV in for routine maintenance. Okay everybody hopefully you can hear me I turned off the air conditioning because it looked like it was getting pretty loud. So there's a few things that I like to share with you that I think are pretty important. Number one, when I first bought the RV I battled over the idea of an extended warranty and you know I looked at um, wholesale warranties I looked at CoachNet I looked at Good Sam's and I looked at a host of other um, RV warranties that I thought would be helpful now I had had advice from experienced RVers that said just set up a fund and pretty much self-insure and you know I thought about that a great deal but a, a self insurance if you think about it would really cost a lot of money I mean if I were to put away let's just say a $200 a month premium that I might pay for an extended warranty then that would give me $2,400 but if something cataclysmic happened to the RV like an engine repair or transmission that money is gone you know I mean literally that money has gone and there's probably not going to be any more money in the event that I need to do this um, in, in the event that I need to fix something else. So, what I opted to do instead was I did opt to go with Good Sam's. So, I purchased my Good Sam's extended warranty in December of 2015, uh, just before I started on the road. I got on the road, um, well, actually, today is February 20th, 2017. So, Officially, I've been on the road one year as of today. I need to do a video on that, but right now let's stick with the with the uh, RV maintenance. And I have to tell you, the first year I didn't use the warranty at all. Um, the only thing I was going to use it for was when I had to fix the front brakes, um, because the dealer told me that they had fixed the front brakes and they had never touched the front brakes. And unfortunately, it was the rotors, the pads, and the calipers. And um, the calipers weren't covered because the vehicle was low miles and the um, extended warranty said it was a pre-existing condition so they didn't cover it 
Fast forward to this past December, and I had a, a couple of other issues occur where I needed to replace the air conditioner, the regulator, the, the uh, propane regulator, the check valves um, on the water tank and on the furnace, and some other miscellaneous things. Oh, the backup camera, uh, and they were all covered. So, uh, you know, what could have cost me about $2,000 in repairs actually cost me $500. For those that are questioning whether an extended warranty brings value, my opinion and my own experience has been it does. It, it brings a great deal of value. Getting back to the subject at hand, if we look at all of these receipts, I've got this receipt, I've got owner's manuals, uh, warranty information, more owner's manuals, more receipts. Um, this stuff can stack up if you're an RV owner. And not just for a used RV. I mean, my RV repairs are only things that I did because I wanted to have them done. Um, you know, proper maintenance checks, replace the hoses and replace the belts. Um, you know, oil changes, generator oil changes. These are all normal maintenance functions that I did on my RV before I left the road for the road back in 2016. And I consistently do you know every so often now you know oil changes aren't like a car where you actually achieve miles you you actually do your oil changes based on your time now your generator oil change is based on hours. I don't run a generator that often but instead what I do is I get the oil changed in the generator and the oil changed in the RV every six months now some people say that's a bit excessive but my manufacturers um, book uh, that I have here let me show you that on my chassis, which is right here, does suggest that if I don't achieve miles uh, on the RV, that I go ahead and change the oil every six months. So that's what I do. I pretty much follow this. And one of the nice things about having all these maintenance manuals uh, from the original owner is he was kind enough to write notes. Let me show you this. I don't know if you can see that, but he wrote, painstakingly wrote notes about everything on the RV. Uh, every single thing that he did, he wrote model numbers, dates, um, really very meticulous, which is, which is really wonderful. One of the first things that I've noticed um, with uh, repair shops is they don't always put the um, mileage down when the repair was done. Um, and that's a, that's a problem. Now, for those of you who do have an extended warranty, you know that the extended warranty requires that you perform specific maintenance on your rig and you have proof that you've been keeping the maintenance up. So for my rig, I insist that the repair shop, the RV repair shop, place the um, mileage on the receipt. That way I have proof of miles as well. So for this receipt, for example, they, um, they did put the mileage on there for me, but that is standard for, for this particular RV repair shop. They put the mileage right on there. I always attach my receipt so that I know exactly how much I paid for it. And then I enter this into my trusty little notebook. Now in my notebook, as I said in my, in my intro, I have everything in here that I have done to the RV since I've owned it. So my question for you is how do you manage your RV maintenance? Do you write it down? Do you have a specific system? Please share that in the comments. I mean, I would be very interested in hearing it. So my receipts are scanned and in the computer. But then I also save everything in my little, little book here. And this book here has folders in it so I can put receipts in it. And I can, you know, some of the places that I've stayed, I can put their, their information in here as well. And, um, and of course my evidence of insurability or insurance from Good Sam's that proves um, that I am insured with a war extended warranty with that. That proves I have an extended warranty with them, but it also is the coverage allowances for the extended warranty. Uh, that's why it's really important, I think, to very carefully read your, your coverage inclusions, your coverage exclusions, so that you know exactly what you're, um, what you're, what you're covered for, uh, especially with an extended warranty. Now, I've had excellent luck with my extended warranty through Good Sam's. Um, some people may have other uh, experiences, but my experience with Good Sam's has been really outstanding. 
So that's it. That's the video for today. Just kind of sharing with you a little bit about RV maintenance records and how I manage RV maintenance. And I'd be interested in knowing how you manage your RV maintenance. All right, guys, have a great day today.